let's talk about the epidemic disease bill now epidemic disease bill would basically bring an amendment to the most ancient epidemic disease act and that was in the year 1897 during the british time now definitely there has been a lot of changes if we we'll read the ancient epidemic disease act we would see that most of the points in the act talk about ships and uh, stopping the ships stopping the movement of the ships but now the world has changed from ships to aircrafts so definitely there has to be change in the bill and amendment so this amendment mainly brings firstly the most priority is to check any violence against a healthcare personnel who is involved in the epidemic now these could be in the form of clinics it could be in the form of uh, the medical uh, centers or it could be in the form of a uh, nursing staff or any other associated or allied staff the offense in case of any offense that has been proved there is a uh there is a uh, time period of nearly 3 months to 5 years of jail along with a fine of 50000 to 2 lakh however in case of grievous injury to a healthcare personnel who is involved in the epidemic cause can lead to 6 months to 7 years of jail which is non bailable and a fine of 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees also central government now has specific powers so central government can inspect any of the ship aircraft arriving or leaving the port or the uh, 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 the aerodrome and then you would have detention of any person could take place during the outbreak of a pandemic also uh, the person who is convicted under the epidemic disease act would have the liability to pay the uh, the compensation to the healthcare personnel whomsoever gets injured or hurt by them also this uh, properties as we said would include the clinical establishment the quarantine facilities as well any kind of mobile medical units that are there or any other property uh, which healthcare personnel has direct interest with so if there is a uh, injury to the healthcare personnel or any harm to the infrastructure both of those would be seriously dealt with so the major changes come up with creating safety net for the healthcare professionals and the healthcare personnel which is very very important and crucial along with that getting more powers to the center to check or quarantine or uh, detain any of the persons leaving the country or entering into the country now these were the key highlights of the epidemic bill amendment that we have seen we would be talking about many more updates on the bills and acts so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead